for you. Get in, get it done. Now focus on shoulders. Okay, your shoulder has a lot going on. You got the front, the top, the back. So we'll come at this from all angles. I am going to use a chair for part of this workout uh, so that we can really isolate those shoulders. Let's reach up and over. Let's start to warm them up. Reach across. So I've got these short workouts, upper, lower, abs, and shoulders, and cardio, actually. So you have five short workouts that you can do. Arms up and down. Get some heels here, just get the blood flowing. You can do a minimal amount of time. Bring those arms around. So each day, do one each day. At the end of the week, you've done an hour and 15 minutes of strength training. Let's go the other direction. Along with that cardio. One more time. Choose two. Let's go out and in, out and in. Getting the top of those shoulders moving. And across one more time. For four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, grab your chair. Grab your weights. And have a seat. We're going to start with one weight, 45 seconds. Stop going. Come with me. We're going to hold the weight. We're going to round your head into the front. Keep going. We are on the clock. Call the halo. Because we're angels, right? Bring it around. You should feel the entire shoulder, front top into the back, activating with this move. Shoulder rotation, really important. Protect the rotator cuffs, the shoulder, the tire, and worn. You want to strengthen the entire shoulder area. Now, I've had both shoulders operated on, so I know what I'm talking about. There's a time I wouldn't have been able to do this even without weight. Shoulders were junk. Okay, so we're going to take the weight. I'm going to stand for this one. I want you to pull the weight up in front and release it. Now, be careful not to lift the shoulders. That's pretty silly, right? <laughs> lift the weight. These are slightly bent. Here we go. Up. Nice and slow down. Slow up. Slow down. Now I'm using lighter weights here. Depending on how much weight you're using, or maybe you're using soup cans, that works. You may go faster or a little slower. Just finish the move all the way up and resist all the way down. That resistance, believe it or not, is as important as the lift. They've done studies, especially for women, to strengthen your muscles. That resistance portion right there is very beneficial. So we don't lift and drop. Okay, we lift and resist. Feel in the shoulders, come on. Good, alrighty. We are going to lean forward, we're sitting again, okay? Look about, I don't know, six inches from your toes, and we're gonna open to the sides with a flop. And you're gonna feel the back, as well as the back of the shoulders here. Here we go, elbows are bent. Squeeze. Squeeze. Don't look up at you. Don't look up at me. Because that's gonna really be like arch your neck. You don't want to do that. Look out. Keep your neck aligned with your spine. I just want to say hi and smile at you and see how well you're doing. Keep going. Feel it.
feeling it, I'm feeling it.
through some of the ranges of motions here. One arm across, that should feel nice. In the back of the shoulder here. Do a T-stretch. I'm proud of you, I'm so glad you hit play. Doing something for yourself, take 15 minutes a day. Hit play. You're stronger, you're just better, you know? You can do everything better. Good, just clasp your hands in front, push out, rounding the back and the shoulders. Come on up, clasp your hands behind your back and lift. You're gonna feel the front of the shoulders. That feels nice, I think. Come on up, take a deep breath in. Remember, if you want to stretch longer, there's going to be a link you can click there. Deep breath in. Exhale, thank you for joining me. Good job. We'll see you again next time.